Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Mary Creative Co. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a Memphis pattern in Adobe Illustrator. The energy, freedom and joyful colors of Memphis pattern are so relevant today. Memphis design characterized by brightly colored shapes and lines. It combines circles, squares and triangles with graphic patterns such as polka dots, straight and wavy lines. If you want to know more about Memphis pattern, its history and examples how to use Memphis design today, I left the link in the video description to the article from 99designs.com. So today we will create such Memphis pattern. Let's get started. Open Illustrator and create a new artboard. I'm going to use a 500 by 500 pixels artboard, but no matter what size you choose, just make sure that your high and your width are exactly the same that you have a square. Also remember the size, because we are going to use it later. Click Create to make your artwork. Before we get started, make sure that the swatches panel is open. You can open it from Window Swatches. First, I want to show you how to make a variety of shapes for your Memphis pattern. I will use this color palette. So let's start to create different kind of shapes. Now you can see that I have created a circle, a square, a triangle with a fill and with a stroke without a fill, also a line and a wavy line. Now let's place our shapes on the artboard. So first I'm going to add a graphics to the top and then to the left side. I do it as randomly as I like. In the process I can reduce or increase the size of my shapes. Hold down Shift and Alt keys so that the size of the shape changes from the middle and scale proportionally.
Now we are going to add items to the right and to the back. So to copy the items we are going to use the move tool. Use the selection tool to select the items that overhang the artboard and go to the object transform move. Or just right click on the artboard and select transform move or press shift ctrl m. We are going to move them horizontally. So enter the size of your artboard as the horizontal value, mine is 500 pixels, and enter 0 in the vertical box, make sure that the preview is selected, because we don't want to move them up or down. Click copy to duplicate them. We are going to do the same for the items at the top, so select them and go to object transform move. Now we don't want to move them horizontally. We are going to enter 0 in the vertical value will be the same as the height of your artboard. 500 pixels. Press copy to duplicate them. Now we can add items in the middle of your artboard. When you are happy with your pattern, I am going to drag over everything and go to object and group them or press Ctrl G. This will group it into one object. Now I want to add a background. Select the rectangle tool, into the size, remove the stroke and choose the color. It's important to add the background in the perfectly position, but I know that it needs to directly line up with the square. 
So now all we have left is to send it to the back. You can right click arrange send to back or press Ctrl Command Shift open bracket. Also one important step, if you have strokes you need to expand it. Press object expand appearance and then object expand fill and strokes. Then we need to cut everything that is outside of the artboard. First we duplicate the background, select the background, press edit copy or Ctrl C and then edit paste in front or Ctrl F. Now the square is still selected and I'm going to hold shift and select my elements because they are all grouped and then we go to window pathfinder and click on the little icon which is crop. Then drag your grouped objects into the swatch panel and you will see that it adds here and if you double click on the swatch the pattern options will appear. So now it shows a dimmed version of where our pattern is going to extend to and we have the original pattern in the middle. Now we can give a name for our pattern, so we could call this Memphis pattern. We can also select the tile type, the grid selected by default, but we can choose a different ones depending on the type of pattern you're looking for. But we will stick to the grid for now. The width and the higher is the width and the height of your pattern and of course we can size the tile of your artwork and we can move the tile with the artwork as well. There is a lot of different options here and you can play around with them depending on the pattern you've created. If you're happy with your pattern just go up and you can select save as copy or you can select down or cancel. So let's just select done. Then create a new shape, select the rectangle tool Let's pick our new swatch, so you can see that it takes the swatch that we created and then applies to pattern. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe, see you in the next video, goodbye!